Continuing coverage now, there have been a series of fires in the downtown Texarkana area over the last three weeks. NBC 6's Sydney Simamone, excuse me, spoke with the Texas Fire Department and local business owners about this outbreak. Over the last few days, both the Texarkana, Arkansas and Texas fire departments have received reports of fires in the downtown area, some in abandoned buildings and one at a popular local restaurant, TLC, that now has a close sign on the door. Firefighters are now working to find the causes. It's not common, but it has happened before. We'll, we'll have one or two, then we'll have a string of them, you know. A lot of sometimes coincidences, sometimes not. Uh. Some investigators believe homeless people could be behind the abandoned buildings catching on fire. We do believe that there was human intervention that caused the fire, whether it was maliciously set to burn a building down or, you know, the homeless population is always looking for places to stay inside. They could have had a candle or maybe cooking something. This is Arthur Lindley a Texarkana, Texas resident and business owner. He says his family has owned this building since 1993. It was a furniture store. Although it wasn't open for business, Lindley says he's devastated. They called us and told us that somebody set it on fire. And what was your reaction when you? Hey, I, 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 I would just, you know, I didn't even want to come up here. Lindley says neighbors and surrounding businesses told him they saw a few homeless people wandering around his property shortly before the fire started. But it's ridiculous for people to destroy other people's property. The fire department encourages anyone with information to report it to the department immediately. Everybody assumes we've got a fire bug or somebody running around setting all of them, but this time we have no information alluding to the fact that a single person has set any or all of these fires. Sydney Simone, NBC6 News. Well, we feel for that business owner. All right, uh, Sydney, thanks.